I'm going to show you an extremely quick and easy way to add a topography or a topo surface or a surface for your site in this Revit model. This is going to be following on from the previous course, the beginner's Revit course. So if you haven't checked that out yet, highly recommend going through that yourself and actually modeling up this entire building. I'll walk you through the entire process in a four hour course. And so to get this started, we're going to be starting off in SketchUp because what we're going to be doing is adding in real life data of a site and then modeling that up in a click like that from Google Earth and then modeling that in as a topo surface inside of Revit so you can control all the points and you can add in building pads and trees and paths. So let's get into it. So let's start off in SketchUp. I'm just opened up a brand new SketchUp file here. The first thing I'm going to do is go to File, Geolocation, Add Location. And this is going to allow us to pick a real location in the world that we can then model up instantly. So you can fly to your site by just panning through the Google Earth or the Maps image, or you can enter an actual address or coordinate location. And ours is just down the road here, so we're going to go find where that is. So here is our site here. I'm gonna click Select Region, and I'll just don't need that whole entire space. As you can see, our block is just the one here, 533. Three. You can adjust the area of the location with these little markers here. And once you're done, you can go over to region and hit import. And this is going to import it into your SketchUp model, as you can see just here. At the moment, it's just going to show as a map, as a flat plane. But if you go back to file, back to geolocation and click show terrain, you're going to see that it is now matching the actual contour of that site in real life through satellite data. So once we're happy with that, we can then import that topography into Revit. To do that, we're going to have to export it out as a CAD file. So if we go File, Export 3D Model, and we can just save this as an AutoCAD DWG file, that's fine, and we're gonna hit Export. Now if we go back into Revit, we can go to any plan view, and we're going to go to Insert, Link CAD, because we're using a CAD file, and by linking it, this is going to allow any changes that we make to the CAD file to appear real time in Revit. And all of the settings should be fine as long as you've got the positioning to be origin to origin, that should be fine and then to be placed at the ground floor. So we can open up that model. And as you can see, this is our site. If we go to a 3D view, we can see what that actually looks like. And obviously it's uh, not looking exactly how we want it to at the moment. So we might have to make a few changes. If we select this imported CAD file, we can see that it's got a few different layers on it. And so what we've done is we've actually imported all three of these layers from SketchUp. All we want is to show the actual terrain. So if we go to delete layers, we can then select the layers that we want to delete. And we wanna keep location terrain, but the other two can be deleted. So we can select them and click okay. Now this isn't a native topography surface or a topo surface. It's not native to Revit. So we're going to have to convert this from a DWG from an import into an actual topo surface. And to do that, we go to massing and site, and then we click topo surface. And we're going to go down to create from import, select import instance. Now we can select that DWG file. We can then add points from the selected layers. And we want it to be from this layer because this is the only layer now. And if we click okay, that's going to give us a warning, but that warning can be ignored. It's created a topo surface with points that correlate to the actual contour lines of the model. So if we hit the green tick, you can see that there are now two files on top of each other. You've got a topography, a surface, which is what we want. And then if you hit tab, you've got the original DWG file, which you can delete. And you might need to unpin that with this button here to then be able to delete that. And all we're left with is the topo surface. You can see that the surface isn't exactly in the right spot. It's not where we actually want it to be. So what you would think you would do is go to the ground floor plan and then move it into place, but you can't see it in the ground floor plan. But if we go to the site view, the site plan, you can actually see the topography there and you'll be able to adjust it and move it into the right place so that it correlates to where the site actually sits. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials and resources, as well as four hours of ad free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.